Hi, and welcome to another episode of Haltech Technically Speaking. Today, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Elite Series ECU's OBD2 compatibility. We're going to be using a Wi-Fi and a Bluetooth module, and we're going to be using this FD RX7 to show you how it all works. The Elite Series ECUs are OBD2 compliant. That means that you can take advantage of a huge range of OBD2 compliant tools. To take advantage of the Elite Series ECU's OBD2 compliancy, you're going to need a cable that goes from the Haltech CAN network to an OBD2 compliant connector. You can grab one of these separately, or you can wire into your car's OBD2 connector if it has one. Once you've got this cable set up, we can add either a Wi-Fi dongle or a Bluetooth adapter that's going to plug just straight into this connector and we're ready to go. For the example today, I'm going to use this Wi-Fi adapter that we picked up off eBay for about 10 bucks. Even though we're using a Wi-Fi adapter today, just keep in mind that whether we're using a Wi-Fi adapter or the Bluetooth module, the hardware wise, they're exactly the same the way they plug into this connector for the Elite Series ECU. The only difference is when we go into our app to connect to it, we'll just have to let the app know whether we're using the Bluetooth or the Wi-Fi. Now that we know what these modules are, let's plug them into our ECU, go online with our app and see how they work. Okay, so we've pulled the ECU out of the kick panel in this FD and all we're going to do is plug in our Haltech CAN to one side. We've got the OBD2 compliant connector on the other end. We're just going to plug in our dongle. There we go, the lights will start flashing so we know we're powered up and we're ready to grab our smartphone and go online. Now that we've plugged in our Wi-Fi module or Bluetooth module if you've got one, we've turned on the ignition in the car. We're now going to go to settings, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth if you've got one. This will show us all of our discoverable Wi-Fi networks in the area. So we've got a whole bunch here. We're going to pick this one, Wi-Fi OBD2. If we click on that, phone should pick it up. And it does, so now we're online with it. So now the phone is actually connected to the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth module. Now that we're connected, the next step is to fire up the app that you're gonna to use to connect to your Wi-Fi or your Bluetooth module. In this example, we're gonna be using the Dash Command app. There's plenty of different apps that you can get, so have a look at your, the, the app store to see which one is suitable for you. Personally, I really like the Dash Command one. It's really fast, very reliable, with very few dropouts. Uh, hasn't given me any trouble yet. So let's take a closer look at this app. I'll turn the phone sideways so we go into the landscape view. Get a bit more screen. When this particular app launches, it already connects straight to the device. So we're live with the vehicle right now. So if I just pop into a whole bunch of the different screens, we've got our dashboard. If I just hold down and go back to our main menu, we've got a bunch of user configurable gauges. So on this one, we've got our engine RPM, coolant tamp, battery voltage and our air temperature, but you can change those to any of the sensors that are going into the Haltech ECU. If I hold down here and go back to the main menu, we've got a performance screen. So this is actually in the dash command one, it uses the G meter in your, your phone and it'll actually do quarter mile timing, which is pretty cool. If we hold back and go back to the main menu, we've got the diagnostics one, this is really nice. We can actually read diagnostic trouble codes. So in this car, we've actually set up some trouble codes to be in here. So if we go read codes, it tells us there's three stored codes found. So if your engine check light comes on, you can use this app to see what the codes are. We can go through and we can read them and we can also clear them. No pending codes. We come back to the main menu. We can also go to a skid pan style uh, display that uses the G meter in the screen. Back to our main menu. And we've also got a racetrack function that actually draws a track map for you using the app. One of the most important things when we're using a Bluetooth or a Wi-Fi app is the response time. We want to make sure that what we're seeing on the screen is exactly what's happening on the engine. So what we're going to do is we're going to start this engine up, give it a few big revs and make sure they match. So let's start it up. Righto, 
that'll do it. Bring it back to idle. Perfect. And you can see the response there is so quick. It's brilliant. So if you've got a Haltech Elite Series ECU and you don't want to replace your whole dash but you still want to see the information out of your engine management system, you should seriously consider a Wi-Fi or a Bluetooth module with one of these apps. Well that's it for today. As always, thanks very much for watching. My name's Scott and I'll see you next time.